climate crisis is also top of mind for many voters. The Mississippi River is at historically low levels, which could impact the food supply and our wallets. The Mississippi River has long represented the strength, unity, and wealth of the United States. However, in recent years, it has been affected by drought, forcing it to retreat in areas where it previously hadn't. Due to this, not only are there numerous objects and curiosities washing up on the beach, but the local and national economies could be severely impacted. The Mississippi River drought reveals subsurface horrors. When you travel to the Mississippi River, you typically anticipate seeing America's largest stretch of water gleaming on the horizon. However, drought conditions have severely altered this situation. As a result of the receding sea, there are now sunken ships that have risen to the surface, as well as a random assortment of new islands. Locals who have grown up with the rushing floods of the Mississippi are astonished and saddened by the river's dangerously low levels. The Mississippi has more than just symbolic significance. Its long-running stream has supplied water and electricity to the cities and towns along its course. And frequently, if they were concerned about the river, it was because it was rising and causing flooding in the area. But nowadays, the issue is the opposite. The waters are experiencing drought conditions, endangering the region and the nation, and dragging up a strange collection of previously submerged objects. The lowest in 30, the situation is especially dire in the lower Mississippi. This section of the river is located south of Cairo, Illinois. The levels are the lowest they have been in over three decades. And if the region does not receive significant precipitation soon, situations could worsen. It has already endangered the region's waterway system and drinking water. This is not simply a local concern. With a length of 2,350 miles, the Mississippi provides water to a vast portion of the United States. It flows through 10 states and divides into numerous smaller streams and tributaries. Therefore, insufficient water in the Mississippi can have ripple effects on over 40% of the United States. The river is also an important transportation route, as cargo ships deliver over 500 million tons of products annually. This comprises both non-edible commodities and a substantial portion of the world's food supply. Therefore, the importance of maintaining normal Mississippi River levels cannot be stressed. Due to present conditions, ships have had to carry less weight, resulting in a decrease in the number of products transported. It also means fewer ships may be on the water at once, resulting in what are basically river traffic jams. This forces businesses to use more gasoline, driving up the cost of delivering goods. Discovering a range of objects in recent years, other rivers have undergone a similar process, and as the river waters have receded, a variety of strange and often horrifying objects have been uncovered. For instance, the Colorado River has been ravaged by drought leading to the emergence of shipwrecks, plane crashes, and even dead bodies. The Mississippi's retreating waters have begun to disclose an assortment of objects. Initially, familiar islands are reappearing. Such is the case with the Missouri island of Tower Rock. Although it was not completely covered previously, for the first time in a century it is inaccessible on foot. People are discovering goods such as keys, fans, and phones. Additionally, they are discovering sunglasses and larger products such as barbecue barbecues. Recently, a 19th century trading board was discovered in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Until the recent drought, it had been resting just below the water's surface. The antique artifacts are among the remarkable discoveries that the villagers have unearthed. A man from Memphis uncovered not only a Civil War era belt buckle, but also bullets from the conflict. Other found things slowly, dozens of sunken ships of all types are being unearthed along the Mississippi. They range from houseboats to ships of greater historical significance. In 2004, the municipality of Donaldsonville, Louisiana, for instance, attempted to increase tourism by highlighting the three-masted ship La Pelican. The ship belonged to Iberville, a 16th century explorer. Unfortunately, the ship sank and the town's $2 million investment in the project was wasted. Now, nearly 20 years later, the ship has returned, sort of. 
The surrounding seas have receded, allowing sight of an exploratory vessel from the 17th century. Residents in Biloxi, Mississippi, have just discovered the remains of an old riverboat casino. Its name was the Diamond Lady, and it was one of the earliest vessels of its sort to set sail in the Southern Hemisphere. This occurred throughout the early 1990s. It was discovered in McKellar Lake, south of Memphis. Another peculiar discovery was made by Wiley Pruitt. Pruitt, a resident of Oxford, Mississippi, noticed an object protruding from a nearby sandbar. Upon closer inspection, he determined that it was a jaw. Upon investigating its origins, he realized that it was the jaw of an American lion. The extinction of this species occurred over 10,000 years ago. Only four people have ever discovered a fossilized American lion jaw in Mississippi, making his discovery historically significant. Emergency assistance in reaction to the diminishing waters of the Mississippi River as a result of the recent mega drought, legislation is proposed to assist. Congress will consider the Mississippi River Restoration and Resilience Initiative. If it is passed, it will give much needed funds for the restoration and conservation of the Mississippi. State and municipal governments along the Mississippi's path, as well as charitable organizations and Native American tribes, would be eligible for awards. It would perhaps mitigate the devastation the low water levels are having on the region and the nation. In addition to economic factors, there are also environmental and animal factors. Along the Mississippi, there are 45 species of amphibians, 50 species of mammals, and 241 species of fish. With any luck, this proposal will be approved and funding will be distributed in time to assist alleviate the effects of the drought. Initiative for Mississippi River Cities and Towns Recently, the Mississippi River Cities and Towns Initiative hosted a news conference at which local mayors and other officials of towns along the Mississippi River participated. They publicly requested government assistance to address the impacts of the Mississippi drought. They noted that the Mississippi River Basin accounts for approximately 92% of all agricultural exports from the United States. It also produces around 80% of the world's exports of soy and feed grains. This indicates that the drought is no longer a local or national concern. It now has worldwide consequences. And because the Mississippi is the country's largest drainage basin, the physical repercussions of the drought are rapidly spreading across a large portion of the country. According to the Midwest Climate Hub of the Department of Agriculture, around 50% of the upper Mississippi basin and more than 90% of the lower basin are experiencing drought. The mayors expressly requested federal disaster aid for the towns and communities hit by the drought. In addition, they demanded that farmers who voluntarily shift their land out of irrigation paths receive subsidies and that more money be invested in future drought mitigation strategies. Shipping delays as a result of the COVID-19 outbreak. Americans were forced to face the unpleasant realities of shipment delays. And according to experts, the same could occur due to the Mississippi drought. Even though it may not occur as rapidly and spectacularly as it did during the epidemic, they warn it will nonetheless occur. A municipal authority noted, for instance, that a scarcity of road salt during snowy days will have a significant impact during the dead of winter. There are also concerns about health. Dry weather increases the likelihood that pipes will freeze. Cape Girardeau, Missouri, had their main water valve break recently due to the extremely dry weather. This meant that the area's drinking water was in grave danger. In addition, many communities had to entirely redesign their water systems in 2019 due to major flooding. This new issue may require them to redo the entire body of work. According to experts, this demonstrates how interrelated numerous climate challenges are. It is evident that there is no simple answer to this situation. Climate extremes are tragically becoming the norm for our nation and the entire globe. And frequently, we don't realize the true effects of these changes until it's too late. Legislation and financing will provide short-term relief, but if the Mississippi River and the rest of the globe are to maintain a healthy ecosystem, it will require more long-term planning and climate change mitigation strategies. In the meanwhile, if you plan to visit this region, 
it can be useful to be informed of the consequences of the Mississippi River drought. However, we hope this does not deter you from visiting these locations, as they are still national treasures. Now it's your turn to speak. Did you know that the Mississippi River is experiencing a drought? Do you believe it will have a substantial economic impact on the nation?